let me explain where we go from now in the teaching. From now in the teaching, we go in one direction, which is a plasma, and a plasma which controls the emotion, and then through emotion, it controls the physicality. And if you understand this part, then you understand how, by now that we have managed to break into the plasma world, do not need anything at all in the matter state. Would you like any water? Or can we build structures across nations, across buildings, that when you're in the building, you take all the water you need, because you take the field of the water as you need it, you convert it, this is what your stomach does. No water crosses your intestine into your lymph. It converts the energy that the lymph can carry and use it as the liquid, what you call water. Do we need to go for a lunch break? Or the lunch break is 24 hours a day. You can eat what you need because you're completely supplied. This is what happens in the solar system in every part of the universe. Is man who's got too much attached to physicality. Now you have the freedom. Now, the reason I opened this in a way was because of the, that Chinese, what do you call it, uh, uh, robots, all coils with 11 parts. Now you see where the 11 parts come in and how you can absorb it, how your body works. So you are the coil. And if one magnet can interact one plasma with the other, and your body is a continuous gravitational magnetic field force itself, which is goes continuously around, now you can interact with any of them in any shape or form you like. Any other question? We do have a question from Sripad from India. Can we apply this technology to control the mosquito population or menace? Of course, depends what you want to give the mosquito. Feed him with a plasma, he won't eat you. Would it get bigger? <laughs> Think about you later. Because it only takes to satisfy yeah, the size of a bird, a mosquito. <laughs> so the same. I uh, put them in the jungles with the tigers, and let's see if they will eat anybody. They'll walk around, they'll be happy forever walking. Maybe Don't they'll start singing. Huh? Maybe they'll start singing like birds. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I told you a few weeks ago, I'll show you how with this technology, no fish will eat the fish, and no uh, animal will eat another animal. Now you see the beginning of it. If enough units are produced and used across this planet, we change the course of the humanity in no time. Any other questions? Uh, someone else asked, um, um, for someone that has HIV and uh, they, they had it at birth, and wondering if there anything can be done for uh, to uh, to help them. Yes, get in touch with me. Okay, so that's uh, like uh, HIV AIDS. It's called sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to volunteer? If it's you who's written the question, if it's somebody you know, no. But if it's you who's written the question, yes, get in touch with me. But can you go on the Wikipedia, Rick, and come up with uh, HIV to tell us what it is? Hey, is it a microbe? We know, I know what it is. Um, it says it's a uh, spectrum of conditions. Um, well, it's called... It, immunodeficiency virus infections caused by infection of the human immunodeficiency virus. Uh, uh, what does it say about the actual, you want to know about the actual um, uh, 
what it uh, is or looks like, I, I guess, is what you're saying, right, Mr. Cash? The yeah, virology. Well, it's the microvirus. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's called a retrovirus um, affects the immune system. Um, it directly and indirectly destroys the CD4 plus T cells. It's a member of the genus Len Lentivirus, part of the family Retroviridae. They share certain biological characteristics. Uh, they're transmitted by a single-stranded, positive-sense, enveloped RNA viruses. It's an energy base. It's plasmatic energy base. Yes. Um, well, upon entry into the target cell, the viral any RNA gene genome is converted into double-stranded DNA by a viral. Let's, let's try something. If you got HIV, if you got AIDS, we know it's a virus. Can we get the screen back? I advise you to do something very interesting. This goes back to the part of the teaching of this morning. Let us know. I hope I'm right, but maybe I'm 100% right, maybe I'm wrong. Make yourself a CO2 kit. Nano coat. The CO2, the copper plate. Create for yourself. a uh, gans of CO2, go through the process of putting the CO2 on the tissue paper, put it in the bag which doesn't touch you, and wrap your body in it, as many places as you can. If you can pour a roll of one meter and you can get a plastic container, it's what we thought this morning, viruses, are energy based. So we should see change in AIDS within days. This technology is made for AIDS. This technology plasma technology is to eradicate disease, what we call viruses. If HIV is a disease, it's a virus, it costs you less than 10 cents to cure yourself, to reverse the process. You create a plasma, which if HIV is a plasma, a virus, connected itself to its whatever, amino acid cell, you got your answer. Build a tube film of CO2 in the toilet roll, very easy. Once you made your CO2, if you're not familiar with, get the toilet roll, open it up. Whatever you made as a GANS, put it on the toilet roll, put yourself in a Put it all in a plastic bag, which you can take it, that it doesn't leak, doesn't touch your body at all, and sleep on it. Three, four hours a day. Do it for a week. Come back next Thursday and get your blood tested to see if there is any difference in your account. And still, if you have a problem, you can enforce it. Go on the Cash Foundation, get yourself a pad, it's most probably the way we work at the moment, it'll be there in six weeks time and stuff tomorrow. Put a pad in the background, on the back of it, and then you can enforce it more. This technology, special strategic technology, is made for viruses. And it's immediate reaction. You will see it. 
But one thing, please do not drink CO2 guns. And please don't drink water of the CO2 guns. You can, you can use or add very, very small amount of copper oxide gas to this as well. Very, very small, but you got to mix it in the gas of CO2 before you use it. Very uh, small, just a few drops. Let us know. If you are HIV, if you know anybody with HIV, it costs less than 10 cents to save a life. I'm sorry, Rugan, Rugan, you... Okay. The world of medicine for the past 30 years. Okay. One, of you, one of you went and took part of my teaching when I explained about the earthquake in America and it's been watched by millions. It's been in one channel, been watched over uh, two-thirds of a million. One guy just seven minutes. Take what I thought now about AIDS and separate it and put it on the internet on the AIDS. Let people try it worldwide. Because it can change the life of every man who suffers from this disease. Put it out. Put it out on the internet. Solution, possible solution for AIDS. Teach them how to do it. <coughs> Take a link. Give them a link to where Armand shows how to make the gas of CO2 that they can do it themselves and then put the addition where we show in one of the teaching as with Renan how to make the total roll with a dance in it and bag it and they can save a man's life for less than 10 cents. You don't okay. need a copper plate, any copper wire you have in the house, just cut it, put it in a caustic and you can save your life or anyone you love from AIDS. We know this is possible. I know this can be done if it's done the right way. And don't ask me how I know, because it's a virus, and a virus is plasma link energy to a bacteria. And this morning we were teaching about this, and now the question comes, so you have to answer. Please Got it. put it in public and let people try. No harm done. They don't need to drink it. They just need to have to be in the environment of the closed environment. We've done such a test in Canada and we've seen the result, but in a much stronger way. So please cut it and put it a possible solution and link it to the Cash Foundation website that people can see what it is. One thing which you got to do more than anything else, try to wrap around your femur, around your leg. This will give you a support increase in your what you call bone marrow that increases your strength in your blood cells that it can become more energetic in increasing changing. So you don't cover your upper body, you cover your femurs whenever you get a chance because this way you increase your amino, amino, the immune system of your bone marrow. So one way you disarm it, one way you strengthen the body to create a higher energy order that it can take the residual energies out of the body in a direct way. Go on the websites, wherever you see societies, groups, just say, the guy who is a Satan says there is a solution for AIDS and try it. If you are wrong, nothing is lost. But we know we are pretty sure right. Try it, you will see the change of the course. The good things we are Satan, not the devil. At least that's one good thing about it. And the ones who call the man Satan, they are the devil themselves. That's how they can cover their backside. Strange enough, they call me Antichrist, but the Christian church is working more with us than ever before. That's why we're anti. Very interesting. We're going to tell that when we meet with Vatican next time. A man who hasn't got a belief in God calls the others Antichrist. Carry on. <laughs>